welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you 10 fragrances from my collection that Bay absolutely loves on me. If you're interested in finding out which fragrances he loves on your girl, then just keep watching. Guys, before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure the notification bell is on. This way YouTube will notify you once my video goes live. Leave me a thumbs up so I know you like my content. And leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. So the first fragrance on the list is by Frederick Mall, and this is none other than Portrait of a Lady. Guys, if you follow my channel, a few months ago I did a vlog and I had Bay pick out a fragrance that he wanted me to wear for our date night. I believe I had Rose's Musk, Initio Atomic Rose, and some other rose fragrances on there. And the fragrance that he chose was Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. I'll link the video either above or below so that you can see it, but I just wanted you to know that this is one of the fragrances that he absolutely loves on me. So much so that he even bought me the body cream this past Christmas. I had to return it because I already owned it and he didn't know that. But yeah, he definitely loves this fragrance on me, so I had to start with this fragrance. So the notes are Turkish rose, raspberry, black currant, cinnamon, clove, there's patchouli, sandalwood, incense, and broxen, benzoin. Guys, this is a rose fragrance, but it's a spicy rose fragrance. So I'm starting to realize that a lot of the fragrances that he loves on me are spicy. He does love fruity fragrances, but I feel like he's leaning more into the spicy fragrances on me. Like he loves ginger note fragrances on me. He loves tuberose fragrances on me and this is one that he definitely loves on me it's a spicy rose fragrance it's a unisex fragrance as well but he doesn't wear it he would never wear this fragrance but there's men who do wear this fragrance so it is a unisex scent but for me it's a it's a date night fragrance to me and let me tell you something about this fragrance guys it is so long lasting <laughs> super long lasting beast mode whenever we go out and i wear this fragrance the waiter nine times out of ten is giving me a compliment on this fragrance even through mask so this is definitely a loud fragrance a beast mode fragrance it's not for everyone you know it's not a fragrance that everyone will gravitate to but if you do gravitate to it then i mean more power to you girl because you'll be smelling bomb this can be a signature scent if you wanted it to be um but for me this is a special occasion type of fragrance it's a date night fragrance it's an occasion type of fragrance it's a stand out type of fragrance so yeah one of the fragrances that he absolutely loves on me frederick malls portrait of a lady Next up, we have Aphrodite by Tiziana Terenzi. And I recently found out that he absolutely loves this fragrance on me. When I did my Tiziana Terenzi fragrance video, he smells all the fragrances and he loves to bit. That's one of his favorite fragrances on me. And he chose this one as well, Aphrodite, which I wouldn't think that he would choose. But yeah, he definitely loves this fragrance on me. It's a soft, spicy type of fragrance. It's a lilac fragrance. It's a very powdery fragrance. Let me tell you the notes. There's pink pepper, there's lilac, there's vanilla vanilla, there's white peach, there's neroli, there's tuberose, there's geranium, there's gray amber, there's patchouli, sandalwood, there's ebony. Guys, there's a lot of notes in these fragrances. All the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, they definitely have a lot of notes because they're very complex fragrances. If you guys are interested, then you can save 20% on SoAvantGarde.com using my discount, The Great 20 and save 20% on this fragrance because it is a beautiful scent for spring and summer. Aphrodite by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up, we have Poison Girl, and this is the EDT. And guys, look at this dent. This is the designated Netflix and chill fragrance. <laughs> so whenever we're just home and we're having like a date night in and we're just watching movies and cooking and just, you know, lounging around the house, this is the fragrance that I reach for. It's a sweet fragrance. It's an EDT. It's not going to give you beast mode performance. It's not lasting all day, all night on you. But you're gonna get like three to four hours. You definitely have to overspray and layer with the cream. Layer with a vanilla or an almond cream and you'll get your whole entire life. So there's bitter orange, there's damask rose, there's rose from grass, there's almonds, vanilla, and tonka bean. Like I said, it's one that he definitely loves to smell on my neck. It's a close encounter kind of scent. It's not gonna choke him out. <laughs> Because it's not going to give you that beast mode performance. It's not going to give you that high, long scent trail in Siage. But it's a very, very pretty scent, guys. Mm, it smells so good. Smelling this reminds me of just being in the house. 
because I've only ever worn this fragrance in the house, like either to bed or just lounging around the house. And that's probably another reason why he loves it so much because it's a home fragrance. I'm always wearing it when I'm in the house. But this can be a date night fragrance. This can be a sexy summer, spring, summertime, going out on the town type of fragrance. Just make sure you bring a decant because she's not gonna be on you for more than about four hours. If you push it, five. So yeah, Poison Girl EDT by Dior. Next up, we have Clive Christian X. I purchased this fragrance because I knew he was gonna love it on me because he loves Gucci Rush on me. So I'm like, if this is the more elevated, rich smelling Gucci Rush, let me go ahead and get this fragrance. And he absolutely loves this fragrance on me. I actually have to pull her out. I don't wear her as often, but this is a beautiful fragrance. It smells like Gucci Rush, like I said, but a more elevated version of Gucci Rush. It's long lasting. It's not super beast mode. It's not gonna give you like 10, 12 hours on your skin. This is about six to seven hours on my skin. You over spray and I spray it on my clothes. So some of the notes in this fragrance is bergamot. There's a lot of notes, guys. So I'm only gonna read you like some of the main notes. There's bergamot, there's peach, there's rhubarb, there's iris, there's jasmine, there's lily of the valley, you have rose, there's patchouli, there's rum in this fragrance, there's vanilla, there's sandalwood in this fragrance. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. It's a rich smelling scent. It's a date night scent. It's a date day. It's a special occasion type of fragrance. If you're going somewhere and you wanna make a statement, this is the fragrance that you pull for. It's definitely a fragrance that Bay absolutely loves and requests me to wear, Clive Christian X. Next up, we have Valentino Donna Born in Roma. And guys, this is one of my favorite scents. Whenever I'm doing a holy grail designer or a for life video i'm always wavering back and forth between this fragrance and some other fragrances the only reason why i don't put this on the list is because i try to keep my list to 10 or less so that's why i don't really talk about this fragrance as much but this is a beautiful scent and i purchased this fragrance because base smelled a sample on me and literally like went crazy like he was just like loving this fragrance so i one of my first youtube videos it was actually either my second or my third video um last year when i first started my channel i did with this fragrance and i mentioned in that video that i purchased this because Bay absolutely loved it on me and i tend to do that if i have samples and i let him smell it and he loves it then i'm like okay that's a reason for me to get that fragrance because you want to smell good for your man, right? It's not just me. So let me tell you the notes in this fragrance. There's black currant accord, there's bergamot essence, there's jasmine, there's jasmine sandback, there's jasmine tea, there's bourbon vanilla, which is like the high quality of vanilla, and there's also woods in the base as well. Guys, this is a long lasting fragrance. I purchased this in a gift set, so I was able to get the lotion with this, so I do layer. Um, when the lotion is done, I don't know what I'm going to layer with. Maybe a vanilla cream? Ooh, but this is such a pretty scent. And this is an all-year-round fragrance. You can wear this as a signature scent, wear this winter, spring, summer, and fall. Just know that you're going to get a lot of attention because this is a very sweet fragrance. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Next up, we have Bond Number no. 9 Chinatown. And guys, he purchased this fragrance for me and also the body cream. Guys, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's not for everyone. It's not a blind buy. I do know a few people that do not like this fragrance, but he loves it on me and I absolutely love this fragrance on me as well. It's a patchouli fragrance. It's a tuberose fragrance. It's spicy. Let me tell you some of the notes. There's peach blossom, there's bergamot, there's honey, there's tuberose. There's a peony, there's orange blossom, cedar, vanilla. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, guys, but for me, it's a peppery, spicy tuberose and patchouli fragrance. That's what I get on my skin from the opening up until the dry down. It's a beautiful scent. It's super long lasting. Guys, the body cream of this, if you didn't want to wear the fragrance, you can just layer with the body cream and just be done. Like that's how fragrant the body cream of Chinatown is. But like I said, it's not a safe flying by. It's not for everyone. And another thing, guys, if you guys want to smell Bond fragrances and you don't have a Bond near you, then call up a Bond store. It doesn't have to be in your state. It can be in New York, if you're in Texas, wherever you are in the country, call a Bond store, explain to them that there are no Bonds in your area and you would like to purchase a Bond fragrance and you wanna smell some samples and they'll send you a few samples. They'll mail them to you, they'll put you on their mailing list and you'll always get Bond samples to your house. So don't worry that there's not a Bond near you because you will always be able to smell Bond fragrances from Bond number nine. You don't have to worry about getting a subscription service or anything like that. 
just call the store and they'll send you the samples so yeah try chinatown and let me know if you guys have chinatown let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below because i know this fragrance isn't for everybody but Bay loves it on me and i love it on me and it's definitely a winner it's a date night scent it's a special occasion type of scent it's not a signature scent it's not something that i would wear to work if i worked in like an office type of setting it's not that type of fragrance but definitely an attention getting scent long lasting beast mode scent trail this scent is everything guys i absolutely love this bond number nine chinatown next up we have my root beer float fragrance <laughs> bdk rouge smoking guys to me this smells like a root beer float it also smells like a sweeter more complex older sister of hypnotic poison by dior this is a beautiful scent a lot of people say it doesn't last on them but for me thank god i don't have that issue this definitely lasts on my skin of course it lasts on my clothes and bay loves this on me in this fragrance we have cherry we have pink pepper there's vanilla there's heliotrope orange blossom there's tonka musk um violet this ambroxan it's a beautiful sweet super sweet scent smells nothing like lost cherry from tom ford the only thing they have in common is a cherry note this is a beautiful scent guys very sweet um like i said it's not super it's not beast mode it's definitely not a beast mode fragrance but it's not a skin scent either but it's a closer encounter scent but the longevity i don't have any longevity issues on my skin and we all know fragrance is subjective what lasts long on you may not last long on me and vice versa but on me this lasts and i do overspray and i spray it on my clothes so yeah Bay loves this fragrance on me guys bdk rouge smoking next we have this pretty scent armani c fiori it's one of the armani c flankers and i love this and Bay absolutely loves this on me it's a very pretty girly type of scent so i mean yeah this is like a no-brainer that he would like this on me because it's a very feminine pretty scent and he loves feminine scents on me although he likes unisex scents on me too this is a fragrance that you can wear to church if you're going to church this is a church fragrance you can wear this out as well like in the daytime for me it's not a nighttime scent like night going out type of scent i wouldn't wear this going out at night I would wear this in the house i'd wear this in the day i would possibly wear this fragrance to brunch it's a very pretty scent let me tell you some of the notes there's black currant there's a uh, green mandarin there's neroli patchouli there's oak moss rose vanilla and white musk so although it's a very pretty scent and very girly it does have a little green undertone to it from that green mandarin and the neroli and the patchouli in it makes it smell a little bit earthy as well so it's a very pretty soft fragrance but it has a little bit more to it you know she's not just the super soft pretty fragrance i love this fragrance and he loves this on me as well armani c fiori next up we have coco mademoiselle intense another one that Bay purchased for me and look at the dent in this one you guys remember that dent that i showed you in the original coco mademoiselle this has no like comparison but i definitely use this one because he loves it and i love it as well this is a beast like coco mademoiselle is a beast this is a beast beast <laughs> this is super long lasting this isn't going anywhere everyone is going to smell you this projects this is a beautiful scent trail a beautiful beautiful sillage guys in this fragrance we have sicilian orange there's bergamot there's rose jasmine patchouli tonka bean and madagascar vanilla another high quality vanilla guys this is a beautiful scent i absolutely love this and the great part about this fragrance is that you can purchase shower gels and body creams not of the intense but i mean it's the same scent as the original but it's just more you know it's just intensified so you can definitely layer with the shower gel from coco mademoiselle and the body cream Bay really loves this fragrance on me he chooses this fragrance a lot like when i'm stumped and i don't know what to wear and i ask him he'll choose this fragrance and this is probably why the dent looks like this because whenever he chooses it i'm always wearing it so yeah this is a beautiful date night scent guys very pretty this goes with any attire this can be an all year round type of scent as well i've worn this in the winter spring summer and fall and i have no issues with it at all so yeah coco mademoiselle but this is the intense version so last but not least we have baccarat rouge 540 the extrait version and guys i have to say something i was today years old <laughs> when i found out that my man loves almond notes on my skin because all the fragrances not all but a lot of the fragrances that we talked about today have almond notes in them like bdk rouge smoking 
uh, hypnotic poison. Well, no, poison girl. Yeah, he likes almond on my skin. So anyway, guys, we don't have to spend any time on this. We all know about Baccarat Rouge Right 40 and we all know about the x -ray. Let me just humor myself and tell you some of these notes. There's bitter almond, there's saffron, there's jasmine, cedar, ambergris, woody notes, and musk. It's an extra, it wears a little bit closer to the skin. It doesn't project as much as Baccarat Rouge by 40, the Eau de Parfum. Now for me, this doesn't do the disappearing act. Sometimes I'll go nose blind to the original version, but guys, honestly, what I do now, I mix the both of them. Like I layer the two of them and I have no issues whatsoever. I'm not telling you to go out and get the extra just to layer with the original, but I mean, I layer and it's a beautiful combination. And the almond note in here, guys, it's so soft and creamy. Mm, this is a beautiful scent. It's such a pretty scent, guys. Yeah, and he loves this on me. So Baccarat Rouge by 40, the extra. So that's it guys, 10 fragrances in my collection that Bay loves on me. Leave me some comments below and let me know what are fragrances that your significant other loves on you. Let's talk about it in the comments below like you always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.